Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savalba's channel. We are, well, we were first in the Administrative and Utilities building, and now we are in the Pilot and Production part of the building, of the Future Design and Technological Bureau. And what is important to say? Behind me, you now see quite a lot of professionals, builders, that are starting installation of enclosing barriers. They are installing the framework for future interim partitions. So we can say that work in this area has begun. It has begun in the administrative and utilities building. We are now on a special ramp, which was installed before and we showed it to you earlier. Let's go down. Thanks to this device, you will be able to perform loading and unloading and so on. We are now on the mezzanine of the first floor. We have almost fallen. Here we can see as well that partitions themselves have arrived, that will be installed, that will be used for installation of the future walls, and installation will happen in the administrative and utilities building and in this one as well. And I hope that very soon we will be able to show you how this part of our future design and technological bureau will transform itself and what it will look like. It is quite dark here. I will ask our cameraman to try to show you the view of the floor, of the ground floor. It is finished, almost, except for areas where tiles will be put, but it already looks quite impressive. So the news concerning work here, we have shared it with you. And now let's think about what is actually happening today on the construction site. Let's go there. Of course, complete work continues, and it will continue until it comes to a logical end. Now here you can see quite voluminous concrete fragment. This fragment was to be even bigger, but when the work was being performed, a decision was taken to divide it into several fragments and to pour concrete by parts. Why? Because level of the floor differs here, and I think that the cameraman will show it to you now. The day before yesterday, on Tuesday, pouring started. And now it's not that we see this fragment already, but we see that we can walk on it. It is quite rigid for it already. It is quite hard. It has been polished by our flying devices, deformation seals were cut. And actually the fragment is getting solidified it is getting harder, and very soon it will be ready for fully-fledged usage. Here we can have a look. And look, it is the same volume of work. This part, this small part, and that part, they were poured on the same day. Here you can see preparation for reinforcement of the next fragment, which was cut from that big one. This process was happening in parallel together with pouring, which allowed us to start pouring this week. And just a small area will be left. One area, it will be reinforced very quickly. And, well, let's not rush, but hopefully next week all the floors of the ground floor will be ready. Will be ready for not only working on them, but actually starting to pile, to stock, what is in our temporary warehouses on them. But we will speak about it a little bit later.
have now moved outside. It is the back part of the building, the RAM group. The temporary warehouse. What can we see here? First of all, we see that work has advanced quite a lot concerning the utility lines. And I want to remind you that they are external utility lines. It is something that everyone has been waiting for for so long. Preparation of the site for climate equipment is in full swing pouring of it and a lot of work has been performed let's not go back to it we spoke about it quite a lot in the last videos very soon this site will be poured please note as well that on this side the temporary warehouse has changed quite a lot there are very few elements on it like the frameworks and so on now the task is to liberate this area as much as we can, actually to liberate it fully, in order to start work with other utility lines, which is becoming possible thanks to all the work we spoke about earlier. Let's move on. Now, what about the ramp? The ramp has already the poured foundation. Backfill with sand has been performed. It is compacted, it is hydro-isolated. More of firm work has been installed, reinforcement has been performed, and very soon we will see how the ramp will be poured and what we will get as a result. And both the stairs and the lid of the ramp will be poured at the same time. It is very important. Why? Because now let's speak about why all this work was performed. Why in this order? Why is it so? Because the temporary warehouse that we were speaking about, it does not allow us to perform utility lines work. Second thing, without the RAP group, we could not work with utility lines either, utility lines which are situated along the ramp. So we were to create it, to create the ramp. Next, without the ramp, it will be quite problematic to shift all the equipment, which is stored here, inside the building. So we have made the ramp, we have removed the temporary road in that area. As soon as it becomes hard, next week, hopefully, we will be able to move, to shift into room, panels and everything which is stored here. We will be able to shift it inside the building. It has become possible. Concrete fragments were poured, now they are hard enough inside the building. And all of that can be now stored there. Well, it sounds a little bit confusing, but still. Now, let's look that way. Let's turn around a little bit. Oops, this is how you break things at work. What can we see here? The road which has been removed, the temporary road. Let's move closer to it. And from here, we can see elements of utility lines, wells, pipes, everything which is necessary. We also understand that plates of the temporary road have already been removed. It means that after transporting of transformers, something that we spoke to you about in last videos as well, after that, we can start work with ground. We can install all the necessary utility lines. By that time, the ramp will have been completed, the warehouse will have been liberated, and to the left of the building, along the left part of the building, and in the back part of the building, we will be able to put all the utility lines. Then, area for air conditioning equipment will also be ready. Equipment will be installed as concrete will become harder, and all of that means that utility lines that we spoke about are already worked on. As a matter of fact, what was done before? Was it the correct thing to do? All resources were allocated to making the floor of the ground floor. RAM groups were created, the area was created. And thanks to all of it, we got the possibility of opening new areas of work. Interim partitions, you know, they could only be installed on the ground floor after pouring the floor. They ought to be put on it. In order to pour the floor, we had to close the thermal contour. 
The thermal contour needed to be closed to supply heat to the building. So the temporary system of heating is ready. Thermal contour is closed. Floors are poured almost. A little bit is left. The back part of the building is also transforming the territory around it, the ramp, the platform, utility lines. And then the cold season will start and we will be as prepared as possible in the current situation. And all of that means, you know, were the actions taken correct, not only in terms of construction, but in terms of the project in general? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. The tempo of work is quite high. Action plan is very specific. The company's work is highly assessed on the territory of the special economic zone. We are under special control. And interested parties that monitor our business, there are more and more of them every day. Negotiations are held every day. And as the building is growing, there are more and more of such negotiations. And they are becoming more interesting for us, for you and for us. So sorry for this video to have been quite long and a little bit confusing. However, I talked to you about everything which is happening here as of today. Like this video, share information about us with your friends, share links to the videos, subscribe to the channel, press on the bell, and be in the know of everything which is happening in the life of the Project Savalmash. See you soon.